Yesterday, Bowls Australia rolled out Ringside Live, an initiative to live stream more bowls matches from across national and international events. The first one took place at the 2017 Australian Open. We featured former champion Rob Perella and current champion Aaron Wilson in a match from the 2017 Australian Open men's singles sectional rounds at Musgrave Hill. We had a chat to some Bowls Australia staff members to learn more about the initiative and what it brings to the sport of bowls. Jake, tell us a little bit about the live streaming initiative that we've introduced here at the Australian Open this week. Yeah, Ringside Live is our new live streaming initiative and it's, it's fantastic to bring uh, a live streaming concept to the bowls of fans on top of what we uh, otherwise would produce for the, for the big time stuff such as the live clock sports broadcast and, and professional live streaming for finals that we'll have later on in the week. How does this initiative really complement the other broadcast products that Bowls Australia have? Well, it's fantastic to be able to bring more live streaming content to, to the Bowls fans. I guess we as Bowls Australia are really focused on video uh, as our, a major source of our, our content. Live streaming has gone to a point where it's really not costly at all to, to stream uh, a good level and, and high quality level of content uh, broadly through Facebook and other media streams. and uh, As opposed to some of the more costly broadcast uh, elements of our suite. We, we do broadcast live on Fox Sports and, and professional live streaming through through our, our finals games. Well, Kelsey, tell us a little bit about this Ringside Live initiative that Bowls Australia has rolled out at the Australian Open. Uh, Ringside Live is a really great initiative for, from Bowls Australia. Um, I suppose we've seen now a lot of Facebook Live and um, it's been a great hit. We're getting thousands and thousands of people watching and tuning into Facebook Live. So I think it's fantastic that Ringside Live is going to go across every single day of the Australian Open and um, and also throw it out there for people to let us know who they want to watch in, in preliminary rounds. I mean, uh, usually at an Australian Open we're only privileged enough to watch the finals, but we get to watch um, games on day one, which is fantastic. And how are you enjoying commentating for the Ringside Live as well as the other broadcast products that Bowls Australia have? Yeah, well the first game today between Aaron Wilson and Rob Perella was really exciting. Um, I've never actually got to watch Rob Perella play uh, that much um, in my career. I've only sort of been around for the last sort of 10, 15 years. Um, so that was quite exciting. Um, but I'm looking forward to other games. It was great to go through the draw last night and see some big matchups and, and get excited about some games that um, are going to be shown over the next couple of days. And in theory, this initiative Let's Bowls Australia live stream any match, uh, particularly up here at the Australian Open across 13 different clubs. How do you encourage people to go about uh, promoting the events? I think the great thing about Bowls Australia now is we've got so many followers on Facebook. So we've got nearly 14,000 people following us on Facebook. So any footage that we have on there, um, we're getting really great coverage from it. And I suppose as well during the Australian Open, all the competitors are getting the daily newsletter, the Australian Open Scoop. And within that, we've got, um, we're going to have videos summarising the day's play and then also highlighting um, matches that are coming in the, in the coming days, in particular Ringside Live. So um, it'll be great, uh, I think, for the competitors each night to get the, the newsletter, um, see how they've gone, how other people have gone, section winners, few articles, some videos. And then, of course, I think everyone will be very keen to see who will be playing on Ringside Live the next day. And this is a really great initiative that uh, is, is accessible to anyone, but we also turn our attention towards the pointy end of the Australian Open to the more professional broadcast. Tell us a little bit about that. I think it's really great that Ringside Live will be following the Australian Open from day one. Um, when we get to the pointy end of the competition and we get to the finals, um, yeah, things will get a, a tad bit more professional in the sense that we have Fox Sports come along and do a fantastic broadcast of the women's singles and pairs and the men's singles and pairs finals, and that will be live, which is which is awesome for our sport. We've also got games of um, juniors and over 60s being filmed for the bowl show on SBS, so people will get to tune into that um, on Sundays. And then we're also going to live stream uh, through Facebook again, through Ringside Live, uh, the women's and men's fours finals, uh, which is um, something that we didn't have last year. So we're improving every year and giving people more content to watch every year of the Australian Open.